Good morning. We find ourselves at Wednesday of the second week of the Holy Penitential season of Advent. Uh, today I would like to go back, you will recall from uh, this past Sunday's um, Gospel reading, we were introduced to perhaps the quintessential person of Advent itself, and that's St. John the Baptist. I would like to just uh, refresh uh, our memories, if you will, about how important St. John the Baptist really is. As the early church fathers would refer to him, they called him a pontifex. We usually associate that word, uh, in English it translates something to pontiff, but we associate that with um, uh, the Pope. However, uh, the word itself, uh, when you break it down, actually and literally means bridge builder. And when we think of St. John the Baptist, uh, as the, many of the early church fathers of the East and the West uh, reflected on him and, and wrote of him uh, as part of their sermons and as part of their teachings regarding Christ himself, he really is the pontifex, the bridge between the Old Testament and the New. And clearly, St. John the Baptist, uh, singled out and chosen by Almighty God from all eternity, to be the precursor, the one who actually comes among us and points out, identifies the promised Savior, the promised Messiah, is just that. He is the last of the Old Testament prophets, and of course the prophets, when you go back and read the Old Testament, they weren't fortune tellers. They were calling the people back to fidelity to Almighty God by acts of penance and reparation. And that is precisely what St. John the Baptist does, as we learned last Sunday, coming out of the desert and calling for repentance by way of preparing uh, to uh, see and follow the Savior. And uh, the other element uh, about St. John the Baptist, which is exceedingly important for us, is that he stands as one of those examples of the Advent people along with his mother and father, St. Elizabeth and St. Zechariah. Our Blessed Mother, for sure, St. Joseph, for certain. Uh, Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of our Blessed Mother, but all of those faithful people uh, who were waiting with great faith, great hope, and great expectation for the fulfillment of God's promise to send the Messiah to redeem the world and restore uh, that pristine and that uh, perfection, if you will, to creation, which our first parents, Adam and Eve, and all of the rest of us, tainted and really ruined by sinning. And it's John the Baptist who comes in time to alert us and call us to not just repentance and to make reparation for our sins, but to be vigilant vigilant in waiting on the coming of the Lord, but vigilant also about our own faith. We all know it, we're surrounded uh, on every side by great temptations to our faith, uh, whether it's through the media or any other uh, circumstance or event. The temptations are all around us. We're being bombarded with temptations uh, to either reject God altogether or just kind of push him to the side and do what we want. John the Baptist stands in the breach, if you will, and calls us uh, to something far better and far greater, 
fidelity, a vigilant fidelity to Almighty God and keeping our faith active, alert, strong, so that we follow Christ. And again, uh, he makes that clarion call of the Advent season, and it's really the clarion call of our light Catholic life of faith. Make straight the way of the Lord. And we can only do that by ridding ourselves, our lives, of all of those things, if you will, those obstacles which stand in our way from following Christ completely, totally, and faithfully, and uh, in the process, uh, we continue to be bombarded with temptations and often enough give in to them. So St. John the Baptist is a crucial figure, not just in Advent, but in the life of Catholic faith. We should often enough read of him in the Gospels uh, often enough, look at the example of his fidelity. And uh, in doing that, we strengthen our own faith, we, we fortify our hope, and really enliven our charity because this is what making straight the way of the Lord is all about. And uh, for you and for me, as this beautiful Advent season will continue. Let us not forget the one who calls us to that repentance of vigilant preparation and waiting on the coming of our Lord. God bless you in this Advent season.